Welcome back. In this screencast, we take a look at something that we consider to be a single transformation, but which really is two done at once. This is a glide reflection. A glide reflection is a reflection followed by a translation in the direction of the line of reflection. It's a reflection and then a translation in the reflection line's direction. So you have some line, it's the line of reflection. You have some triangle, looks like this. And you want to do a glide reflection. Well, that involves a reflection and then a translation along the direction of the line of reflection. So this would be a single reflection but then we translate along the direction of the line of reflection we translate in this direction or or in that direction it doesn't really matter uh, but the whole idea is that it creates like footprints uh, your left foot and your right footprint are mirror images of each other along some imaginary line down the center of you and your right footprint is usually ahead of your left footprint this is how glide reflections are done so there's there's a line you have some object uh, here here let's let's do this object uh, you want to take this object and you want to reflect it um, Oh, mercy. Let's clone it. You want to reflect it in the reflection line, right? So that, that these are mirror images, right? Remember, to the mirror, through the mirror, to the mirror, through the mirror. Maybe we go a little bit more like that to the mirror through the mirror so now these are mirror images over this reflection line but then we translate along the line of reflection we translate along this reflection line and then you can make footprints that way and you have done a glide reflection now what do we know we know that if this is triangle ABC and this is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, all the side lengths are preserved. Uh, AB is congruent to A prime, B prime, BC is congruent to B prime, C prime, and so on. All the angle measures are congruent. Angle B was a right angle before, so angle B prime is a right angle after. But the orientation does reverse because it's a reflection followed by a translation. So ABC is counterclockwise in the image in the original, and A prime B prime C prime is clockwise in the image. So we have an isometry, it holds the shape the same, same size, same shape. These two figures are congruent, but the orientation reverses because there's a reflection involved. And that is roughly all you need to know about glide reflections. We can do them in the coordinate plane, uh, but it's not terribly interesting, I'd have to say. Uh, so you get some, some figure in the coordinate plane. Uh, this is R-E-U-T. And let's pretend that we want to reflect over the y-axis and then translate uh, where t takes x, y 
to x, y plus 1. Well, we reflect over the y-axis and then up 1. We reflect over the y-axis and then up 1. We reflect over the y-axis and then up 1. We reflect over the y-axis and then up 1. Do we get something that could be the left footprint to our right footprint? Sure we do. That's the whole point of the matter. Uh, orientation reverses. REUT is counterclockwise in the original and clockwise in the image. Hopefully this is helpful as you seek to understand what you read about. I will look forward to seeing you when we gather.